And we will immediately call to order uh, a called meeting of the Board of Regents for a public hearing on the adoption of our tax rate at 12.30 p.m. Again, as I said earlier, we're going to dispense with our opening. Uh, is there anybody here for general public comment? Seeing none, we will move directly into our discussion and possible action related to the tax rate. Mr. Garcia. And your microphone turned off, so I'll get you to turn it. Thank you, Madam Chair. Before you is a reduced slide deck presentation on the proposed 2023 property tax revenues and related tax rates. There are no financial changes in this presentation since our August 9th board uh, presentation. Mr. John Johnson will lead us into today's presentation. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, Regents, and President. The information. Oh, let me go to that slide. first slide gives you a tax rate history. The information shown gives a five-year history of the college's sales tax rate. I mean, college's tax rate. The, inf the amount proposed for 22-23 fiscal year of point two six six one zero four is the lowest over the periods shown on and 1.723 cents below the prior year or a decrease of 6.1%. The ability to reduce the overall tax rate is largely due to a significant increase in all taxable property values within the district of 11.64% and a flattening of the annual debt service requirement outstanding on general obligation bonds. The information at the bottom gives a five-year history of the amount the <clears throat> the annual homeowner's property tax, which is calculated based upon average homestead values for that specific year. Although the tax rate is at the lowest level over the five-year period, the average taxable homestead value over the same period has increased by 24%, with 10% of that being since last year. Are there any questions on that slide? I want to, I'd like to emphasize, be careful that we understand what we're saying. You're saying that um, including giving our employees a raise, including a larger raise for our lowest income employees, we're going to lower the property tax rate by 6%. Yes. But okay. Just I'll want to make sure everybody understands that. Yes, we're lowering the tax rate, but we still are confined by the 8% legislative rule over our no new revenue rate. So we're still under that rate. We're almost at the maximum, so we could not go any higher and in, in, uh, um, put together additional revenues from property taxes. If I understand that. that. Okay. <clears throat> The information at the bottom gives a five-year history of the annual homeowner's property tax, which is calculated based upon the average homestead value for a specific year. Although the tax rate is at the lowest level over the five-year period, the average taxable homestead over the same period has increased 24%, with 10 of that being over the last year. Going over um, property tax revenues, The revenues budget for 22-23 fiscal year totaled 88,075,331. The 4433 maintenance and operating tax revenue budgeted increased by 5.17 million over the previous year, mo previous year, mostly to pay for salary and benefit adjustments to employee pay scales, new operating costs associated with the opening of the new Oso Creek campus, and costs to fully fund the new police force. The debt service budget of 22518888 is the annual debt service requirement on the college's outstanding general obligation bonds. Are there any questions on either of those two slides? The 
If not, that concludes my presentation. Thank you, John. Um, so, Madam Chair, members of the board, this concludes our proposed property tax revenues and rates presentation. Uh, the college, just one last note, the college has complied with all legal requirements as mandated by the state for the purpose of adept, adopting the proposed m and and debt service tax revenues and levies. Following the public hearing, the college is asking for the, for the board's consideration two action items relating to agenda items three and four. The board agenda item three is for the approval of the proposed increase to the total tax revenues from properties on the tax roll in the preceding year by 5.79% for a combined tax rate of 0.266104. The board agenda number four is for the approval of the proposed m and and debt service tax levies of 0 0.196870 and 0 0.06234 respectively with a combined total of 0.266104. Thank you, Mr. Garcia. Is there anyone here for public comment on, or, or excuse me, for the public hearing for our tax rate? Seeing none at this time, we will stand in recess uh, for about 20 minutes. Uh, we will reconvene shortly before 1 o'clock. Uh, so we stand in recess at 12.37 p.m. All right, we will reconvene our um, called meeting for a he public hearing on the tax rate at 12.59 p.m. Is there anyone here from the public who would like to make comment on our tax rate? Then we will adjourn this meeting at 12.59 p.m. and give me about 30 seconds and we'll convene our next meeting. <laughs>